Hello and welcome back to Silver Snow, Ashen Wolves, except no Ashen Wolves this time, unfortunately. We are on Hunting by Daybreak, Chapter 12, first chapter after the time skip. And this is the hardest and, well, I guess I don't know for sure that it's the hardest chapter in the, the route because I haven't played the ones after this, at least not on this route. Although I, I am given to understand that it's got a lot of overlap with Verdant Wind. Uh, where I have played it. Though then again, I didn't play Burden Wind on Maddening, so... Um, but yeah, it, it, it's definitely the hardest chapter to this point, in any case. And uh, also easily the worst designed, hooray. <laughs> These are not unrelated statements. Uh, we, unfortunately, as I said, don't have any Ashen Wolves. In fact, we only really have two, two and a half, I guess I would say, useful units for pretty much the entire chapter. Uh, so we got Byleth and Seteth, and then eventually, uh, in a few turns, we're gonna get Dorothea and Caspar are gonna show up here, Petra's gonna show up here. Dorothea is kind of useful, so maybe a half is too generous, so maybe like a quarter of a use of the unit. I don't know. She, she can do a little bit of chip damage with, with her magic. Um, but in general, we're just gonna be fighting with the two of them, and, and, and despite the praise that I gave Seteth last time, to be honest, like, it's mostly gonna be the Byleth show, because, um... Sadith just doesn't have the... Well, I mean, he gets doubled by pretty, by the vast majority of enemies in this chapter. Um, even if he gets a couple of speed level ups, uh, he's still getting doubled by almost everything. And uh, that he also does not have the avoid that Byleth has um, due to lacking... Well, I mean, m mostly, I guess, due to the, the speed difference, but also due to lacking alert stance and avoid plus 10, which are both abilities that Byleth has. So, um... Yeah, so Seteth is mostly going to be, like, you know, swooping in for kills on player phase, and Byleth is going to have to do most of the work. Um, and part of that work is going to be protecting those... Black Eagle students who show up, which is which is pretty tricky, um, because the enemies are really strong, like a lot stronger than they were last chapter, and um, the the enemies will go after the Black Eagle students, although not not in an entirely consistent fashion. Like I've definitely had attempts at this chapter, like foiled by having enemies that move towards Petra over here in ways that are inconsistent. Like, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. And I'm not 100% sure I understand why, but, like, sometimes I can avoid it and sometimes I can't. So hopefully that doesn't happen. We'll, we'll see. Um, it is actually a defeat boss chapter, although, um, you know, the, the, unlike it, some of the pre, you know, previous defeat boss chapters we've had this one, there's not really any way for me to do it quickly um for one thing it's a two-stage thing and there's uh like a bunch of enemies around the boss and a bunch of enemies between us and the boss we have so few units um so like there's no like quick way to get over there and end the chapter um even if we do kill Pilardo, like another one shows up um and the enemies in general are just strong enough that we can't like take on very many of them at once so we can't just go like rushing headlong towards him so we really have to take our time uh we also don't have like a healer i mean we've got healing items but um yeah, no healer uh although dorothea i did also give her what's the the healing gambit called i forget it heals like 14 hp so it's something um her personal skill also does some passive healing so those are those can both help but yeah, there's basically we're gonna be we're not gonna route the entire map, but we're gonna be routing a lot of the map just so that we can like uh, advance safely. To start off with, um, so the, the, as I said, Dorothy and Caspar are gonna start off up here, and what I want to do is I want to bait some of these enemies in this vicinity, like towards this part of the map. That they will like uh, go after Dorothy and Caspar if I don't get them away from there. Now one one option is to kind of, like, pull up right here and have them, the two of them back here and Byleth over here. But there's a couple of issues um, with that. I mean, it can work, but I found it a little bit more reliable to bait the enemies a little bit more quickly because there are enemies with pass. Um, all of the thieves, um, so, like, this guy and this guy and 
it's a merc. Um, there's assassins um, ha have pass the thieves and assassins, and then you've got there's some snipers and who obviously with the three range can like shoot across this you know barrier. Um, it can be it can be hard to just get enough of the enemies dead. Plus, we really don't want Byleth to take damage very much, not just because of the lack of the heal of healing, but the like the fact that um, Byleth if Byleth takes too much damage, she can lose her battalion, which is pretty bad. So um, we're going to be trying as much as possible to make use of the forest terrain. Like I would in. In general, I would rather that Byleth miss and the enemy miss than that they both hit for the most part, at least on enemy phase. Um, although sometimes we can't afford that because sometimes like the the enemies are like too close to our squishy units and you know, that can be a problem. But anyway, so to get this started, we don't like there. There are you know it actually occurs to me. I haven't tried having Byleth just start in this forest, but I guess I could. I don't know why I haven't tried that before. Um, I've generally had her go here, um, which forces this guy to attack at three range. But it's an interesting option. I'll give that a, a whirl. Seth. I guess what we can do is Seth. We can put him here, and oh no, this guy will be able to reach him from there. I guess we could put him here. It'll be fine there. We need to get. He needs well. to get some weapons out of the convoy, or like just do some inventory management. Um, I made a mistake. I when I moved my stat boosters from. I, at first, I wanted to give the speed carrots to set up, but then I get it in the Byleth. And apparently I forgot to buy an extra Silver Lance. So early on here, set of is not going to have access to a Silver Lance. I want him to have access to a Killer Axe. And I want him to have the March Ring. So I think we're going to put back this Iron Lance. In general, like, the enemies have swords, but a lot of the enemies that Seth is going to be picking off, um, he either is going to be doing it with an axe or he won't have enough damage with just an Iron Lance, even with Tempest Lance, to kill them anyway. Um, although, I guess we could go and keep the Iron Lance and go for... and put back the Iron Axe. That might make more sense. That. Actually, I want to get. I want him to accidentally like equip the march ring. I know there's some weird stuff when you have multiple, like, equipable items in your inventory, um, where sometimes it like you when you trade stuff around or, or re-equip your weapon, it like switches which one is. Equipped, and I'm not really sure what the conditions are for that, but. I'm grateful. Anyway, alright, so we're gonna put Seth here. And yeah, let's try putting Byleth here and see how this goes. We're gonna dismount. We're going to equip the training lance. We're gonna get our. Uh, alert stance on. Watch and learn. Nice. Watch and learn. I think Byleth may be able may have been able to double the mercs with the uh, Iron Lance. I should have checked that. Okay. Yeah, that guy missing is pretty key. So... Let's see... 
So the reason I want um, Seth to have a killer lance is because, or killer axe rather, is because he has like a close to 50% chance to crit with it in conjunction with smash. Um, the problem with this layout is that Byleth, even if Byleth, if uh, Seth doesn't crit, Byleth can't like move out, kill this guy, and then move back and still have a lance equipped. She could, I guess, I could pull the javelin out. Well, he has. I don't know what that is. He has um, advantage. I guess what I could do is fly this way and out of range. Specifically, this guy is really scary. But, um... 3, 4, 5, 6... I mean, this guy would have, like, a 45% chance to hit, which is not great. This guy would have a 40% chance... I mean, hopefully Seth just gets the crit, and then we can, like, finish this guy off. Or or we can let Seth. We could... Well, he'd have an axe equipped. That wouldn't be so good for that. Yeah, we don't want that. We'd have to kill that guy. But that'd be fine. Alright, let, let's, let's see whether he can crit this guy. Nope. Yeah, he pretty much never does get that crit. Oh, I didn't even consider the fact that he wasn't going to be able to, like, canto out. All right, um, let's, let's undo that then. What's my strategy? On her mount, and... All right, so we're not in range. We're not at risk of being in range of any of the other bow users. There's also this guy. Um, so this guy's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, probably. We can fly across him, but then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't, I really don't like. I mean, I guess if, if this guy moves first, then. Unfortunately, Byleth is not strong enough to take... Well, there is, I guess, maybe with the... Let me check something. If we are using this thing 47 to hit, whereas if we are mounted and using this thing 33 to hit... Okay, so we're a little bit safer with the training lance. I was thinking, like, Byleth could potentially run one round this guy with Thunderbrand, but... And then she could use the fighters of Drummy to like go out and go back while still unmounted. But I think I guess the other thing we could do actually is have Sabbath. Guide me well. Hmm. Iron Lance, Tempest Lance is 22 damage. That would be enough with the Iron Lance from Byleth. I think what I'm gonna do. Not bad, not bad. Greater good. So we're gonna head over to here. And set us gonna equip the march ring. Get the kill, and these guys might just go for Seth anyway.
Which would actually be preferable because, in general, I would prefer for Sadath to be taking damage here because he won't engage in enough combat where he's risking damage to have to worry about his battalions. Just speed and defense, that's good. There is all. Oh, that guy went around the top. Okay, that's interesting. And that activated that group, which doesn't normally happen. We have... Looks like there's a. It is confirmed. What are you doing here? Never mind. We'll have to talk later. Yeah, Sedith is these... like. I was. I was talking about this last time. Sedith doesn't even realize that the students are coming. We charges off to fight all these enemies anyway. Good job, Sedith. Um. So, I think what we want to do now... I think this would actually be the spot that we want to put by left, to be honest. Because of this mercenary coming down. I guess we could... By left as far up as here. Hmm... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're gonna have to back as far off. Have I earned no reprieve? Kill this guy, run back to here. Dorothea steps over here, we get some passive healing. Byleth needs to find a way to lure, like, everybody else sort of away from that general vicinity, and I'm not sure how to do that. I mean, one way to do it would be to get all the way over here, but there's no path to do that. One, two, three, four, five, or one, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> if, if, oh, wait, if we kill this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could do that. I mean, that aggro's more enemies, which is not great, obviously, but it does mean that, like, most of the enemies are going to be... Like, it's going to it's gonna occupy this archer and three of these enemies, and then at most, like, two are going to run off this way. And we would be able to, like, fl then fly back down with Byleth and hit somebody on enemy phase, and that plus Sedith... Well, Sadath could also use a gambit on the two enemies that end up... And it's also possible that, like, depending on the move order, like, this guy moves up this way without getting to Byleth or something. Probably not, but... Hmm. Well, either way, Sadath is doing this. We could actually pop one of our resonant white magic charges. I'm not sure that I want to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we definitely could go all the way up there. Um, it's really annoying that these enemies aggroed. If these enemies also, like, because some of the way that the enemy aggro works is, like, it's staggered, where, like, one group activates and that causes another group to activate, like, a turn later. And then, um, if they, if they do that and then run towards Petra, I'm just, like, screwed. But, uh, I kind of want to try here, just because I think that's going to do a better job of not letting enemies leak this way. So, let's... Whip that. Go to here. Dismount. Put this. Put that. And I just want to look at like 31. Yeah, it will be reasonably safe. Twenty-two? Really? Hmm. Let's 
That's unfortunate. Oh, he's gambiting anyway? Okay, well. Right, Dorothea, fire. come over here. Caspar, come over here. So predictable. Oh, he is going over there. Well, uh, Dorothea plus Seth should be able to take out that one guy. The question is whether we're going to get another enemy going over there. Yeah. Oh, no! Ooh, that's bad. Oh. So this. Well, all right then. All right, I'm going to call this a failed experiment. So what we're instead going to do is going to go all the way back to the beginning. Stop the thief. And we're going to go here instead. Guide me well. Out. Killer axe. Archering. I'm grateful. And part of the reason I'm calling that a failed experiment is because I had no like way to manipulate the RNG, like with attack order stuff to change that outcome, even though it was pretty unlikely. And I don't know why that guy's... Oh, I guess he got, like, Gambit boosted. That was why. His was, like, 45 to hit instead of, like, 30. Whatever it was. Alright. So, now... What we want... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Yeah, what we want is for Seth again to kill this guy. I bet he won't, because he didn't last time. Oh, well, I guess we did do a different number of attacks. Damn it. Oh, I forgot to equip... Archering. Crap. That's actually quite bad. Well, it does mean that I can do the attack, I What's guess. My strategy? Guide me well. That guy having like a 30 to hit does not please me, but. Um. Alright, what do you need to do 25 damage? I mean, that would work. I do want Byleth to have, squeeze every bit of avoid out as possible, so I guess I'm gonna go with that. There is still room for improvement. Oh, we can just do this. So we got the silver axe. Okay. Predictable. Oh, that's actually very helpful. No! Don't do that! Ugh. Ah, oh, gosh, that's super not called for. Um... Okay. 
that is the, the oh, he still has it, but he's hmm. well. Not in threat range. We might actually be able to have Dorothea take out this guy here. Yeah. Have right, you got your. You've already got the accuracy ring. Okay. She's not going to be able to take out this guy anyway, so yeah, let's do that. Boom. I'm growing, but at what cost? Not helpful. No magic, no dex, no luck. Those are the only really relevant stats she could gain. Okay, so, um... Yeah, Byleth's just gonna have to wait this one out. 8% to hit, 23... Yeah, 23 is like... He's not going to get hit by double 23. I don't know whether this guy's going to cross over or not. Um, oh, wow. He actually has a great hit rate against that guy. How about that? But not against... Oh, because this guy doesn't have... Uh, axe Breaker. That's why. Yep. Okay. So, let's... Just double check... That... Oh! Well, we can kill this guy. I think I would... Let's see, protection... Protection, that part doesn't really matter. This guy's slightly more attack, this guy's slightly more hit. Yeah, it really doesn't matter too much, but... I guess we're gonna take out that thief. the Killer Lance, actually. Ugh. I think the Silver Lance is more, or Silver Axe is more likely to be a problem by virtue of running out. Oh, dang it, I forgot to equip the Experience Gem. Ah! Okay. No reason for Caspar to go anywhere, really. Although there's no harm in him, like, running out to here, either. So I'll do that. Wait, where are you going? Predictable. Well, we can have, if we can take this guy out, it's not going to be particularly easy to do with him stuck in the forest. We could have Byleth equip the fetters of Dromi, gamble him, and then. Uh, remove forward to this spot. She wouldn't get the um, alert stance, but being in the forest unmounted with a lance equipped against the sword user should be sufficient. So I think I'm gonna go for that. The alternative is that I have Seteth gambit him. He has assembly, so he could pull the guy out of the forest. Um, that, however, does not... It doesn't give Dorothea the ability, uh, opportunity to attack him, but then again... Maybe that doesn't matter, because Byleth would be able to finish him off. But would I rather use Seteth's gambit or Byleth's? I'd probably rather use Byleth's, to be honest. Because I, like, more frequently don't want to use Byleth to use a Gambit. So, I think I will choose that option. Oh, wait, I gotta... the fetters. And actually, I think... I think for this turn, I may want the Silver Lance equipped. 
Silver Lance gets me to 29 speed. I don't get doubled, but I do more damage to this guy if he comes in. Yeah, so. Because they're not. They're really not going to hit me here anyway. Did I equip the fetters? Yeah, okay. to hit. That's higher than I was thinking it would be. Well, hope it works out. <laughs> All right, we may as well do that and actually equip the dang experience gem. Is this hit rate? 57? Come on. I mean, I know he's in a forest, but like... Maybe we'll just kill him with Dorothea next turn? <laughs> uh... I'm just not thrilled about... best that I got, unless I do Focus Strike. Okay, that's 60. That is better. Let's try it. Cool. I can feel it in my bones. Nice. Speed and defense. Oh, I guess I already knew that. Whatever. This is actually played out quite differently than what I expected. Even like I count like I you know I, re I I tried something it didn't work I reversed it. But then normally when I go like over to here and lure this guy out, that brawler doesn't like start moving yet. I or grappler or whatever he is. Um, I wonder if that's because the enemies got activated by my other thing, even though I reversed it. That wouldn't make a lot of sense, though. I'm not sure. I just know that normally, at this point, like I'm, I'm getting ready to worry about the, that guy coming in from up here. Unless, oh no, maybe it's this guy that is. Yeah, it's probably this guy. Never mind. Okay, I just got confused. All right, Caspar. I want to move this way a little bit mostly to just try and lure the enemies this direction and not towards Petra. I Again, I don't really, really know what, how that works, but it has some influence on it. I know that much. Oh, God. There is still more to learn. That is not great. Not great. Okay, that guy, that uh, brawler or whatever, that just moved. Yeah, this this guy here is one of the primary ones who can end up going after Petra. So I think we're good to go. This guy won't move until we approach him, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, however, Byleth taking so much damage, not good, not good. Although, we're in a position where, like, this guy can't get very far into the woods. Well, we might be able to, like, hit and run out of here and then come back in next turn. And meanwhile, like, have, uh, have Byleth heal up. Might be the way to go. If Seth could crit this guy... Dorothea could get this kill with Thorhan and not be in range of either of these enemies. If he can't kill this guy, though, then either one, two, three, four. I mean, I guess five movement, right? Yeah, I guess. Like, we could still leave this enemy alive and. 
Alright, let's try once again. This almost never works. I don't know why, but it almost never works. Let's try it again. <sighs> Frick. Okay. Yeah, I've got seven charges left. I'm wondering if I want to burn a pulse charge on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, if we equip the fetters, we can still get back to safety. And Dorothea can heal Byleth. I mean, I would rather Byleth heal herself. Hmm. You can full heal. <sighs> the other thing we could try to do is just, like, attack with Dorothea and then attack with Seth. I think I am going to try that. Maybe it's foolish, but have accuracy ring. Yep. Okay. Guide me well. Sort Yes. Good man. Good man. All right. Talking about. All right, so you got a 33% chance to hit. That's too high. So yeah, we're gonna. I may not survive. The mount. Can I go? I don't want them to come around the top this way, so I wanna, I think I wanna like, end up over here, but maybe, maybe like there. Or maybe I just go here. Like even though the enemies will be in the woods too, I, it's just like, if I can choke point them, right? Cause like these two don't have pass. These guys are gonna activate soon enough. And we do have this guy with the pass, but it's only one guy. Oh, and then there's these two. Yeah. Oh be a thing. But still. Um, I guess the other thing is, if I, I was going to use the talk command just to get that out of the way, but I guess if I'm going to heal, for whatever reason, you can't Kanto after, he, after using an item, so I think we'll just go here. The convoy. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Put back the Silver Lance for now. It's the most likely thing that we would want set up to pull out, although you could always trade for it if it came to that. And we're gonna grab an elixir. Do that. I don't want to move Caspar through because I don't want him to get stuck if they do come across here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's for us to be able to get to here. One, two, three, four. Or more realistically, we have to do something else because Dorothea won't be able to get out anyway. So we're just going to move Caspar to there. All right. Okay, that guy is moving off, but he's going to... Oh no, oh no, oh no! Ugh. Well, alright, we'll just try something and see how it goes, I guess. That's pretty much all we can do. Alright, I need to turn on your ranges and see. Oh, Dorothea can't even attack this guy safely. 
this guy, I mean. That's not great. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I guess you can if we put Byleth exactly here. So that's what we're going to have to try. Means we're using Thoron again. Either that or we're just going to gambit with Seth. That's probably what we're going to do. So, and that'll also mean Dorothy doesn't need to use Thoron to be good. So yeah, let's, um, doesn't really matter what item we have equipped, but let's go put a lance on the theory that maybe I end up somehow fighting one of the sword users. I don't know. Not so fast. Ah! Dude, please. I don't even have another attack to make. Oh god, that's horrendous. That is horrendous. <sighs> Damn it! There's just nowhere... I guess... I mean, technically, Dorothea could attack with Thoron from here and be safe, but not... Uh, well, it's still need... Isla still isn't going to do enough damage to kill this guy, probably, anyway. I mean, unless... What's my strategy? <sighs> no. Thunderbrand's accuracy is too low. She'll never hit enough. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. I do not know. I mean, I guess the alternative is, like, we gambit these two. Although, why would that hit either? But... One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can put Dorothea here, attack this guy, gambit these two, and put... Byleth here. And he'd be going in with a 42 to hit. Ugh. The alternative, because like the I have these two enemies that ran off this way, right? So the alternative is to rewind further back and place Byleth somewhere different last turn. Um, like, knowing that I might need to do that anyway. So, you know, that'd be somewhere, like, maybe hereabouts. Like, pull some enemies this direction. So I, mean, I think they probably do, in general, go towards Byleth. Like, that's my guess. But I, I don't know for sure. I mean, it doesn't explain why. Like, these guys could have gone towards her and just didn't, right? And it's not like they didn't have a path, so I don't really don't really understand it, but... Um... I guess... I mean, another option would be... Well, we still have to rewind for this, because I didn't... I just sort of panicked and put Seth somewhere. My only assumption I would rewind, rather than thinking about what I would do if I kept this. But I could... I could gambit with Byleth. And then... This guy. And then, like... Yeah, I don't know where that leads. One, two, three, four, five, 
seven. Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna go back and move Byleth differently. I think there's. it's gonna end up coming down to that anyway. So then the question is, where to? Okay, 61. It's really higher than I'm comfortable with. I could move all the way over to here. Get in the bushes here. Um... That's my 33. If I have this equipped, and this 27. I mean, the problem with going over there is if any of these enemies move towards this side, we don't really have any recourse. We could also end up getting surrounded and not be able to leave, and then, like, there could be an enemy that's close enough to, like, enemy here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess they wouldn't actually be able to reach Petra. Um, we go, like, over here. I don't know if they all, like, try to pile through here or not. The other thing we could do is gamble that Pyleth won't get hit. We use alert stance. Leave her where she is. Like, that would drop this guy's hit rate to 12%. So basically he won't hit. Um, we'd back up a square. This guy would end up going to here and then we'd have them both barricaded. On the other hand, that might mean that these enemies, like, go for Petra because now they really don't have a path to Byleth. Or they might try to come around this... Well, they wouldn't... Yeah, they... The block by Dorothea. It's like... How many of them have pass? This guy has pass. We're one unit short of being able to, like, completely, like, wall this area up such that, like, the pass units can't get through. <laughs> well, maybe two units short. I guess we'd have to, like, occupy both of these or, or something. We wouldn't have to, but... We'd need a second unit that could tank, unless... Well, I got to I got to try something. I mean, if Violet activates Crest of Flames a bunch of times, she can also regain health that way. So there's that consideration. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go I mean, 27 is not very likely to hit either. 116 to hit. 114, 27, this guy's at 29. If I take the risk and heal Byleth now here, that, like, there's that, that, that provides some value for sure. Alright, let's, let's do it. Or let's try it at least. And this guy might also gambit, yeah. Um. Okay, so now that we've done that, this guy will definitely attack Byleth. This guy will definitely attack Byleth. 
the question is, do we want to, like, put... Ca I think I'm going to put Caspar, like, over here. Um, to try to, like, signal to the enemies, like, hey, you can come this way. Or maybe if I, like, go here, then... No, that's just a path to Dorothea. I don't know, maybe if I go here... It's a mixture of both. I'll try it. I will prepare. Might as well move Petra there, too. Oh, you did get hit. Why would you do that? I missed with the Crest of Flames. Sad. Oh, come on! Don't do that! Ugh. This guy's probably gonna activate this group, too. Man, why would you go here rather than here? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, this guy can get to Dorothea. It's really obnoxious. More fighting. We can get to Dorothea there, too. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm not even sure there's a point in continuing this line of attack, but... At the very least, we're going to do that. That... Probably just gonna wait, honestly, with my life. What's my strategy? Guide me well. I think I put Seth over here. That will help somehow. I don't know. I'm grateful. Two as well. Okay, okay. They, they reverse course. That's good. No, come on! Don't get hit by that! You have so much charm! You should not be getting hit by that! Jeez. Wow, how did that happen? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop getting hit by gambits, please. Ugh, ugh. Alright. This guy, one, two, three, four, five. Sufficient move to Rathia to here. This is so bad. Probably better not to heal. I may not so we get the avoid. Survive. Yeah, I know you may not survive. I'm well aware of that at this point. Still 22% to hit, but that... That should, in theory, go down from the rattle getting cleared at the end of the turn. But then, like, they might go for the gambit again. But, like, it shouldn't be that likely to hit. Eh. I mean, what we could do is have Seth, like, assembly like this guy. And that not only means he can't gambit, it also reduces this guy's gambit hit rate if he goes for it. Seth does activate Crested Keyhole, like, all the time. 
I could also try this. See if we can crit this guy. Or at least get some damage on him. We need to take some risks at this point. No, crest of heal. Okay. Oh boy. Well, he didn't die, so I guess we'll just see how that goes. We're already down to one pip on the battalion. Really, really not... Not what we need. Watch and learn. Okay, that's good. Predictable. Okay, the gambits are gone. Unfortunately, we have this enemy here. I don't know what to do about that. I truly do not. Is this guy... I mean... That's a thief. It's got pass. I guess we just go for a crit again. Oh, it works. We can get out of the way if, if it does. Oh, this one we go for the killer axe crit. 51. Oh, come on, Sadith! It just never frickin' works. Alright, we might as well go back to the, the previous attempt. Never frickin' works. Uh. Guide me well. this guy <sighs> guess it is an option unfortunately I can't oh they'll all go for violet regardless okay that's that's interesting yeah I guess that makes sense because they're like they can smell the kill but like if I, I can just like park Seth here, and I won't go for him. Rallying by the last defense isn't gonna do a whole heck of a lot, but don't want to use Seth's gambit to kill this guy when I might need it for somebody who like I really can't deal with. So. lie about this crap. Oh, wow. That was really unlikely. Predictable. So now so it's frickin' frozen. I can't... I can't deal with that. More fighting. I cannot deal with that. Damn it! What... Why does he get hit by like a 30%? Why is it a 30% against Seth when it's a 30%? It's Byleth, it's frickin' 41 charm. I don't understand any of this. Am I wrong? Was it higher than 30%? Maybe it was. I thought I, I saw that it was, but. Okay, forget the dang rally. Just. 
Park right there. I will prevail. Watch and learn. Ah, I was afraid of that. God. Okay, fine. Guide me well. Use the frickin' gambit. I won't fail. survive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, but Dorothy is gonna have to uh. more fighting. Oh, that's Wait, no, this this guy I don't know, we have to Oh no, but then Sadath is in range of this guy. Uh. Uh. I guess only in range of that guy. Maybe he'll go for both anyway? I don't know. There goes one, two, three, four, five. Actually, wait, no, but he can go to the bushes too. I was gonna say we could put Dorothea here and Aspar here, but we can't do that. Ugh. I mean, if Seth could get a get a crit here, we got two pulse charges left though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still in range of that guy, so. Might as well end up moving to here if that's the case. But if he doesn't. Is gonna go after Seth. It's only thirty to hit, though. I may not survive. <laughs> oh, not another one. Watch and learn. <laughs> okay, thank you, Seth. Thank you. We really need some just a flames box. Okay, well that's a little bit of health. This is a mark. This one with Dorothea. Am 
She's catching up to me. All right. Well, maybe we will make it through this part of the map, but with only two pulse charges left, I and boil it down to one pip on our battalion. I worry. Oh, hello. Okay. I did not see that coming. Okay, this is not gonna be death. That's all right. Okay. There's another dead enemy. Good, good. We're still not out of the danger zone with this guy. He missed with the crust of flames. I'm stronger than before. That is in fact the case. Could this might be a good time to use an elixir on Byleth now? This guy still would only have 29% chance to hit. We get out of the danger, immediate danger zone. I think I'm gonna do it. Oh, come on! Okay, well, at least we got the kill. But, like, God! What? <laughs> gotten hit with so many of those! If this is the run where I actually beat this chapter, I'm gonna be shocked. Um. Alright. We gotta finish this guy off. That shouldn't be too hard. What's my strategy? Uh, well, <laughs> I say that, but... Focus Strike, Silver Axe... I guess we could trade for the Iron Axe, or Convoy, whatever makes it more likely that I actually land the hit. And we'll also get support. Oh, well, yeah, because we can trade for the sort of the creator. I would prefer to give this kill to Seth, but maybe I shouldn't be so greedy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, is this spot? Yeah, that's, that's a danger spot. We go here. How far can South go? One, two, three, six. Okay, let's go here. No, wait. Let's go. Perthia. One, two, three, four. Eh, never mind. At this point, uh, that's probably the least useful.
Why do you have the March Ring equipped? Damn it, set it. You're supposed to get XP from this. Arrgh. Ooh, this would be a good time to pop the Gambit. So I don't forget. That even works. Yeah, it does. Appreciate. Yeah. Put me okay, in. cast bar. Come on up. Petra, you're still stuck. Okay, so. We basically cleared out the left side of the map. We do have this one guy. We don't necessarily have to kill him, but we probably would. We probably should. Because we might want to be able to maneuver around in this area without having to worry about that extra enemy. We're ultimately going to have to deal with these enemies. And we probably want to deal with these enemies so that we can get the chests. We probably, we'll have to deal with these enemies. We don't have to deal with these enemies. This guy, yeah, maybe. But yeah, as far as luring these guys out, I think what I actually want to do... So we're going we're gonna to leave this guy alone for now. What we're going to do is... Um, Caspar, why don't you talk to Byleth? So we can get that out of the way. And I don't think there's any of this stuff that we particularly need to drop in the convoy or like Seth to have access to, so just wait. Seth. Guide me well. Violet's defense. I'm grateful. And then I don't know. Come over here, Dorothea. Oh, Dorothea already talked to Violet. Okay, well, I don't remember that happening. But we're gonna drop this stuff in the convoy. Not that it really matters, but... And Byleth... Gonna come over here. And this is gonna bait out these enemies while getting the sniper to stay over where he is. Which means we don't have to deal with him as soon as we might otherwise. And he's got no chance to hit, so... Works out pretty well. I might have uh, incorrectly estimated the amount of movement I was going to be dealing with when it come, came to this guy. I did not realize that I was going to be putting Dorothea in danger this way. Whoops. Um, and unfortunately, this enemy has passed here. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I should have put Dorothea here. I should. I should not have... Messed around with that other stuff. Uh, okay, let me see. So if we if we stack, if we can kill this guy and then stack up in front of Dorothea, it will be fine. I think we can probably do that. Eleven damage, huh? Hmm. Do pretty good damage here. Oh, the sniper is going to be in range of that. That is annoying. Uh, the alternative. The problem is that they can't both run. Yeah, that was a huge mistake. That was r really sloppy. I mean, if I equip the Magic Staff, I can do a little bit more damage. Much lower hit rate, though. 33. This guy surely does have... Oh, he doesn't have Axe Breaker. Okay. So how much... How 
27 damage, huh? It's only 20. I really don't like that very much, although... If Dorothy is here, this enemy can still get to here. And to... So it would be like Caspar here, Sedith here, Byleth here, and then like this enemy can get to Sedith. No problem. This guy's doing 20 times 2. That's a crap load of damage. 13 times 2. Which means. I mean, if we can hit with that. We can hit with that once. Then we're alright. All right. I think the accuracy ring is the way to go if we're gonna do that. So we we do we do this, we get eleven damage. We do this, we get Hopefully 22 damage. and the, Or we do... That. Well, it's still pretty... It's still pretty shaky hit rate. I think 2 times 59 is better than 1 times 69. Alright, that's what I'm going to go for. Oh, well, we can't mount, can we? And you need to equip the fetters. You can go one, two, three, and then four. And then you're gonna come here and then bounce back to here. He, he's still gonna be shooting at three range. So his hit rate's not going to be that high, but it's not going to be zero, that's for sure. I don't suppose... What was that enemy hit rate there? 49? I don't want to take that. Oh, then we're going to have the sword equipped. that thief go for Byleth with the sword equipped? Oh, wait, when we canto... No, because we're going to canto forward. Hmm. Damn it. Wait. We're not doubling. Why are we not doubling? We were doubling before. What happened? Oh, the fetters. We don't have the plus two speed. Crap! I guess we're going for this. <laughs> wow, we're one damage short. Oh man, I should have equipped the magic staff. I didn't even realize. Oh. Maybe we end up pulling a javelin out of the convoy. But... All right, let's try this. Fifty-one. Fifty-one. How oh, is it fifty-one? There's like seven before. Oh, maybe it's because I have the sword equipped. That's probably why. Okay. Um, your hit rate with an iron lance is ninety-one. Iron lance has 90 hit. Javelin probably... Yeah, Javelin might not be safe. Oh, boy. This is all just a huge mistake. I mean, I could undo it with the Divine Pulse, then I'm down to one. I might do that if Byleth takes damage, though. Or maybe I go for the Javelin hit, and then I undo if that doesn't work out. It's the alternative. Alright, let's... 
do that. And then we do that. Put back. I actually think about putting back the Iron Lance is probably a mistake, though. Oh, 81. That's much better than I was thinking. So be... Okay. Javelin hit rate is 80. Wow. Okay. That's... Why do you have the frickin' March Ring equipped again? Damn it, Sedith! Come on! <laughs> I, I want you to get the frickin' experience! Ugh! I have not had this many problems with this before. Ah, oh, God! Frack! No! Unacceptable! Okay, forget it. We're going all the way back here. Unacceptable. 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 <sighs> no withdrawing. Okay, we're gonna put me in there. Whatever. You're just gonna move back here. <laughs> um, you're gonna move to like here. Guide me well. You're gonna rally by less. I'm grateful. Right here. What's my strategy? And you're gonna go over here and dismount. Predictable. Okay. So now... One, two, three, four... Four, five, six, seven. We could actually kill this guy, potentially, and still be safe with Sedith. If that doesn't work... Then we need Byleth to kill him. And then... Like, this is basically another, like, we could go for... Um, smash. We probably should just not... Like, if Byleth waits... Like, the guy has has no chance to hit her, so it's like, it, it, who cares? Um, this guy will get there. Well, I don't know which one of them will move first, but... If one of them's here, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, then they can completely get in on us. So we, that that is an issue. Um, if Byleth moves back a square, this guy's going to start moving out. So I would prefer not to do that. If we can kill this guy, we can probably deal with this guy doing some damage to Sedith. So, like, I think the play here is... This guy moves one, two, three, four to here. And then he goes one, two, three, four, five. I guess he's not really even a threat until the turn after. All right, so let's go, let's go to here. How much speed do you have? 34. Pull this out. Wait, how much does the killer lance weigh? More? Okay. 
29. I still think that's worth it to get the extra damage in. Pick up the fetters of Dromi. Oh. Ugh. Of course. You don't, you don't have your Killer Lance. We should probably pull that back out now. I'm grateful. Okay, here we go. Well, that was unexpected. Watch and learn. But not bad. That actually gives me some... One, two, three, four, five... Options. Dorothea. Yeah, if I put Sadath here, then Dorothea can attack this guy with impunity. Or Byleth, whatever. Um, but I think it would be Sadath. How many Thoron charges do you have left? Just one? Whereas once we get started going to this side of the map, Dorothea doesn't get to contribute anymore, so it doesn't necessarily matter if we use up the last one. Accuracy ring equipped, okay. So you can do 16 damage. Dang. You can do 19 damage if I equip the magic staff, which is one short of letting focus strike kill. <sighs> Dang, dang, dang. Okay, let's just risk the counterattack here, I guess. Or go for this. Fighters equipped, which means I'm gonna end up in this guy's range. Having moved and having the sword equipped. Eh. Why wouldn't I just mount if I'm gonna do that, I guess? So 62, yeah. That'll do. So, one, two, three, four. We'll just put Byleth here. Traded for the Silver Lance. And there's like no way to do it now. No way to do it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can just trade set up a different weapon. Never mind. It's fine. Okay, right. Focus strike.
Okay, I want you to have the killer lines equipped, I think. Alright. Nice. I can feel it in my bones. That is a good level. That is a very good level. Okay, we don't need your range on. We probably should start turning on ranges of all these enemies in the back, though. Just to make sure. Don't do something foolish. So let's uh I left up let's see if we put Byleth here next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, so we can get support for Sedith on this attack. Three, four. Let's get a little bit more healing for Seth. And you still have this guy over here. I'm not 100% sure that he won't end up going for Petra if I don't bait him out, so. Six, seven. I'm not sure if I actually should put. Isleth in range of these enemies, but I guess we don't have to make that decision right this second. Um, the big problem with luring out these enemies, of course, is we don't have any woods to do it from. I mean, unless we, like, come over here and then jump to these woods, which might actually be what I want to do. Yeah, in fact, I think it is what I want to do. And given that, I might as well wait on it and lure out the other um, guy anyway, I guess. I'm grateful. I guess I could also lure him out with Seth, but I don't know that I want to do that. Yeah, never mind. He quads Seth. It's... Although I don't think he does very much damage to him. Yeah, he does like four damage. Well, times four, but you know, it's not that bad. Okay, so. For the most part, we're just going to leave Petra, uh, Caspar, and Dorothea over here, but I, I do at least want to have the option to try to attack or heal with Dorothea, maybe, so I'm going to kind of work, have them work their way towards the middle a little bit. So this guy can get to any of those bushes. It's not like a good way to lure him out that doesn't involve giving him a bush then. Unfortunately. I mean, maybe. Maybe I should just use Seth on this guy. So go with the Killer Axe approach. Thirty damage. Problem is his hit rate is crap. Iron Lance has a decent hit rate though. If we go Tempest Lance, Iron Lance, then he kills on enemy phase. All right. Nice.
I would I would prefer to have Sedith available to do hit and runs before I go in here with Byleth. But mm, how much do I care? Yeah, I think it's probably wiser if I do that. So let's move with you here. And you here and Byleth just I'm just gonna put this stuff from Dorothy in a convoy, but whatever, it doesn't matter anyway. I would be really sad if those guys decided to start moving because Byleth moved over there, so I guess I'll just not do that. Excellent. Good job, Seth. I mean that in all sincerity. Set it here. I'm grateful. We're gonna. We're gonna put Dorothy up there. So we're going to have Violet come over here. Training Lance. Dismount. Wait. We are gonna get. Gambited. Fortunately, there's not so many enemies like a a able to surround because of the this stuff. So be a little bit better than my otherwise. Oh no! Watch and learn. Oh, and finally Bernadetta, and, uh, Linhard and Ferdinand are gonna show up. They don't get to do anything for a while. Quite a while, really. Okay, these guys are a problem. Um, the Sadith can take them on. And when this guy dies, Byleth, let me see how the Silverlands situation looks. 37 to hit, minus 15. Or that's it, versus it's only a difference of four avoid. 31 AS is. Not doubling that guy. I guess the most relevant thing is, is it killing this guy? Oh, it's not. Okay, so then there's no reason to, to do that. Unless we could somehow... One, two, three, four... Okay, let's take off their, all of these guys' ranges. This guy. So Seteth killed this guy, and then stopped here. This guy couldn't get to Seteth. I mean, this guy might run through and around if he moves first, or this guy might try to run around, but... Fake. Yeah, I think that actually works pretty well. Tempest Lance, this guy. Now, what do we want equipped against these guys? Iron Lance... Probably, we do one Iron Lance. The other, the other option here is like we assembly these guys. Um, that is probably smarter, to be honest. We're not going to get too many other opportunities for Seth to use his Gambit anyway. I think. Um. Oh, if he misses, that would be pretty unfortunate. But it isn't even, like, really a, a huge problem if he does. All right, so th then against that, we definitely can use the Iron Lance. And 
now this guy is going to do no damage to Sedith. Sedith isn't quite killing him on the counter, but maybe... ...and set him up to do so. I'm gonna put. I don't know. There. I, what I want with these guys, if nothing else, is just the ability to run some items up in case I do end up running out, which I don't think is gonna be a problem, but just in case it is. Alright, so now. Ileth waits. I said if it's not far out of that. Archer's range. Didn't really check that carefully, did I? Well, this guy could end up going after him too if this if he if this guy attacks first. I mean, yeah, set up to kill him. It's fine if he does. Actually, completely fine. But he doesn't. Watch and learn. Wait, why is he unarmed? He unequipped his own... Gauntlets? Why the heck would he do that? If we split our troops in two, we yeah, thanks, Seth. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I mean, this is not going to matter for a while, but eventually what's going to happen is we're going to get up into here, this guy is going to run up after us, and then we're going to open this thing and run down here with Ferdinand and get these chests. Um... In order for Ferdinand to get this chest on the same turn that he gets this chest, what needs to happen? Probably nothing that we can actually leverage, but if he's here, he goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That would be safe. Okay. Or, so then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well... Yeah. Whatever. I mean, the point is, we'd have to have this basically block. Oh, no, because this guy has pass. Yeah, probably that just never happens. But Linhart, if he's here, one, two, three. If he's here, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can get as far as he would need to. But maybe we do actually want Linhart in front, since Ferdinand, we know, can go like one, two, three, four, five. Maybe the way to think about it is, is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, he could get it from all the way back here, but he can't. Um, what I can go ahead and do, I'd put chest keys on each one of them, but it turns out it's better to just have them both on Ferdinand. Ready, ready. So, oh, I've also got Bernadette out of the chest key. We can give... I guess we could oh. technically be building support here. I really don't care, but... Uh, yeah, okay. Have a training wheel. Oh man, we could be building so much support. Actually, we could be grinding Linhart. Back to the I guess there's no reason not to do that. that really helped. Okay, meanwhile... Um... How do we want to take this situation? can probably just kill this guy with Seth straight up. Not quite. Well, Dorothea can enable the kill. Then this guy becomes a problem because he can reach. Pick off this guy's range. Okay, this is how far those guys can reach. I mean, we could kill this guy, maybe... Let's see... Silver Lance... 17 hit. Uh, 115. 
Well, we can... I guess we can check damage this way. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we should definitely be able to kill this guy. Possibly, let's see, minus eight with the Iron Lance. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so then in that case, there's not really any reason not to... You still got the accuracy ring? Yeah, you do. This could go poorly, although there's still no way. So long as Byleth kills that archer, it shouldn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it doesn't work. I'm wondering about. Yeah, I probably just want to get on the horse. Once again, if I take damage from this guy, I guess the preview is not going to show me that, but like. No, he doesn't do enough damage. To, no, he does do enough damage, yeah. So I don't want Byleth to take damage from this guy. I want... So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I can fly set up in front. You just really need Dorothea to hit, is what it comes down to. Hmm. One charge left. Oh, we've got this option. Okay. That's, yeah, that's the play. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Freaking kidding me. That's so bad. <sighs> okay. Do it like this. Oh, Byleth doesn't get hit. Because T Seth's taking too much damage otherwise. Ah, jeez. Okay, good. <sighs> Frickin' hit things, people! Oh my god, please! Tortilla! I really want... I really want Byleth to come over here and not be, like, not, like, be able to use alert stance, but... You're making it hard when you miss your attacks. Because in theory, I could have Caspar try to pick up the kill. This guy's got 22 protection. Like, Caspar can deal damage to that. The Tempest lands. 106 to hit plus. It's 116 to hit and 50 to avoid. Yeah. I 
mean, what's one more turn when it's already turn 21, right? But... Ooh, that's so obnoxious. The other thing I could do is just use the Sword of the Creator and quite possibly just kill. Not... Then... Set Seth up for the kill. We should do that. Okay, there it is. More speed. Yeah, there is room for improvement. Like, ever getting defense. Okay, so next turn. Um, we're gonna go up to here, and I'll talk about why that is in a bit. But in the meantime... Let's do this silly nonsense. Thanks so much. I don't know why. Oh, right, because I wanted so I have to get that healing. Um, okay, so we're going to. Yeah, Byleth is going to go into this bush, and the reason for that is because we need to leave a path through here. This guy. No, no sorry, this guy. I don't know. There's somebody who starts moving, like, in an undesirable direction. Maybe it's this guy. Like, starts moving towards my units over here. And there is nowhere... Like, if he's standing here, they cannot all hide. So, we need them all to come this way. And this spot doesn't allow that, but this spot does. Because there can be, like, sniper, sniper, sniper. Anyway, um... Once that happens... So, we're gonna get, like... This guy... Well, we want to actually... We do actually want to use the creator sword here, unfortunately. Um, because we do want to get some, like, counterattack damage on these guys. So we're going to have... We are going to be dismounted, so we're going to get, like, the 30. So that's going to be, like, 44. And the 15 is going to be, like, 29. So, yeah, that, I mean, one option... And, and it, like, it, some of them will attack at three range, and, and then they'll get the minus 30, and they won't be able to hit anything. Yeah. Um, but I'm just trying to think about positioning-wise. The furthest forward any of them is going to be is here. If it's a sniper, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we will be able to get back out of range from where we are. Um... I think I actually want to... Okay, you two... I think we should probably just... Back away again, because there's no sense in... Risking anything. Dorothea, I do want to take advantage of the passive healing a little bit more. If I go do this, and I'm like, one, two, three, four... There's no way that they're getting to her, so... But how far over do I have to go? Because it would be nice to have Seth in range to do a hit-and-run attack. Maybe he, from here... You know what, actually? Oh, we never took it up this guy. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It might make more sense for Setup to go open that chest. I wouldn't also be shocked if that guy... It's aggroed. Let me aggro these guys. I don't know. It does not. There's no convenient bush to, like, use to lure him, so I would rather not mess with him. So. I think what we're gonna do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're gonna go grab a chest key. Uh, see, we have the March Ring equipped again. <laughs> what do we want to put back? 
Maybe I should put back the experience gem just to make sure I have as many weapons as possible. Uh, yeah, chest key. Rally. I'm grateful. After here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dorothea can obviously get away from that. So let's go ahead and park her here. We still have a couple of gambit charges. We could spend one. Like it's going to be hard for Dorothea to ever get near Byleth from this point forward. So I am actually going to do that. All right, and then Byleth. Do that. All right. <laughs> this silly nonsense. Thanks. Back to the break. I think there is an XP limit from dancing in a single chapter, really so helped. I don't think this is actually going to do a whole lot. Not to mention, I don't really. Well, what I do care about is getting Linhart to special dance thing activated, because he doesn't have that yet. But I like the stat boost thing. Um. Yeah. Watch and learn. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would like Seth to be as close as possible. to be as close as possible. Dorothea no longer needs to be close, so we should probably back her as far away as we can. Which actually probably means going this way, so she doesn't get stuck. Although we're not. Well, the thing is, we're gonna back. We're gonna back away from this bush and like lead them out here because we need. I mean, this guy will come to us anyway. Well, I guess so. Yeah, it probably doesn't matter. But let's, let's go here. Not a particularly important pickup, but we got it. Okay, so... Oh boy, these hit rates are too high. These two will just stay where they are and not hit Byleth. This guy will be going in with a... Uh, maybe it is better to, like, get this guy taken care of first. Although these guys... The thing is, if I, if I equip the lands, then, the, then these guys will start attacking from two range. Unless... Of course they can't, which... Well, this guy wouldn't be able to, at least. These two would. This guy's a much lower hit rate, so I'm less concerned about that. If this guy had decided to attack from three range, this guy wouldn't even be able to attack. Yeah, I think I think the play is to go here. Tier AS. 41. My god. Training Lance. Maximize Avoid. Down to 2%. It's <laughs> a lot better. 5%, 19%. Yeah, okay, that's that's not bad. I owe you. further back.
19. Too scary. Too spoopy. All right, if we take off this guy's range, they've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he can't get away. This is the problem that comes up at this point, is that we, like, cannot do hit and run. It's not really. Um... Like, if I had, a f if I had like, a little bit more control over this, like, the idea would be um, to, like, lure these guys further out, slip past them, hit Pilardo, like, open this thing, Lintonheart comes through, dances, and we hit Pilardo again all on the same turn, but I just, I can't really get past them, problem, because I don't have enough, like, control over what's going on, I don't have enough of units. Um, I can't see the hit rates, because setup is here... This is just not... something we can really work with. So, let's move Seth to here. I don't think there's any real risk of Dorothea, but whatever, we'll move her back. Um, and then... We want to move to here, probably, because there's fewer bushes in range of this spot. Like, from if they take this bush, then they can hit me from three bushes. If I if they I go here, then there's only one bush in range for them to attack me from. So, 17, 19. It's still really more than I would like, but what can you do? Back to the break. That really helps. Is he actually gaining class XP? I should look at that more carefully. I didn't really register it. I'm gonna avoid wasting my own time. Oh right, we've got a we've got a um, choke point here. That's the other thing. We might actually be able to have Seth finish off the uh, assassin here. Take off this guy's range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's just that. Oh no, wait, no. It's it's a lot. It's better than that. I was. I'm looking at the wrong thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. That works for me. Haven't withered away just yet. Okay. Now, if I switch the creator sword, interesting, that guy's going to go for a gambit. These two are going to step back and miss for sure. The gambit, if that hits, will be really bad, but... If it doesn't hit, I might be able to do something with Seth. Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably not, but maybe. Let's find out. Let's look carefully. Uh huh. He is still getting XP and class uh, XP. Great. Don't know that that's actually that actually makes it worth it, but. Watch 
At least it's not completely pointless. Well, they've actually... Uh-oh. Okay. They've actually put themselves in a spot. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Okay, if, if, is there any one of them? Yeah, that guy. This guy's range doesn't matter. Yeah, this guy's range matters. So, like, one, two, three, four, five. This guy, Seth, might be able to one shot. Nope, one damage short. Ah! Yeah, if he, he needs. I don't know how many times he's proc to strength level up. Whether he's gotten it, like, every time. I guess he hasn't. So he was, like, level 23. So he's gotten, like, 3 out of 5. Yeah, he needed 4 out of 5, which is probably unrealistic, but... Okay, so... Are any of them going to take a... two-range shot at Byleth at this point? And if not... Do we just go for a kill here? Silverlance, not quite a kill. We, we, what we can do with Seta for sure is fly in and trade Byleth Training Lance. 34 to hit, 32 to hit, and something less because it's no, wait. If we go with the Raider Sword, it's 16 to hit, 18 to hit, because they're attacking from three rings. So we probably actually do just want to attack with this. And not uh, trade it out. Well, she's got... Oh, no, but it's not safe to... If I... Hmm... I wish she could attack. Well, no, never mind. It doesn't. I guess it doesn't. Matter. Just thinking about like if she misses. Yeah, there's not really any way to, to leverage Seth to get a kill because they have vantage. What we can do is rally defense. I'm grateful. Yeah, they're 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 too scared of the sword. Thanks. Thank you. Battle d So now we can go up and hit this guy. Is that gonna, that's not in range of this guy, okay. I guess... Yeah, uh, okay. I'm just trying to think if I have any other interesting options, and I think the answer is no. That remains as close as I can do or go to anything with Seth. I guess we're out of support building already. I'm actually surprised I'm not locked out of the supports because it's like I didn't get them in time or whatever. Wait, that time we didn't get the screen, right? I think Limpart might be done. Either that I skipped over it really fast and <laughs> didn't register it, which is pretty easy to autopilot that stuff. 
so predictable. Okay, so we can take this guy out now. Um, what would be nice is to take this guy out without needing to use Byleth so that we could, like, have her lure out that assassin. Um, but we can't do that. So we're going to... It would be nice to get the, another chess key to Seth so he can go get this thing. But... I guess... whatever. Maybe Byleth will grab it next turn. We could also just give the kill to Byleth, but I really want to give it to Seth. Don't I? He's got the... Actually, doesn't have the experience gem anymore. Maybe I don't want to give it to Sedith. Maybe I want to give it to Byleth. Okay. In that case, I can go get the... Chest key. I'm grateful. So next turn, we get this chest, we lure this guy out, we do it from like, yeah, here is safe. Lardo does have a gambit um, that we would ideally like not to get hit by. We can't enemy phase him as a consequence of that, there's no point in trying. Maybe we maybe bait him from here. That make more sense. All right, we don't need to move any of them. Thanks so much. All right, are you still getting value out of this? Thank you. Oh yeah, you are. I just yeah didn't register it. That really helped. Okay, what turn are we on? 28? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. And Byleth can definitely one round Lardo, although apparently not with the Silver Lance. Maybe she didn't proc as many strength level ups as the last time I tried this. So with this guy, what we want to do is be able to block him reaching Ferdinand and Linhart. I think I'm going to go here. your AS. 39. I think that means we can use Iron Lance. It's one point of avoid. If he hits twice, he kills Violet. But I think that's very likely to happen. Finally, that uh, Silver Lance. I think I mentioned... Did I mention that I forgot to buy... I think I mentioned I forgot to buy a set of the Silver Lance. Well, now he's got one. Back to it. Back to the break. Oh, we don't need to rally again. We've maxed out. Okay. Watch and learn. 
Nice. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, we, we want to do now. Is. Break this thing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's not safe, but we can wall that other guy out, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is safe. So. Wait, I traded the chess keys to Bernadetta? I did it backwards! No! And I could have traded them just now! Oh! Do I use my pulse charge on that? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Alright, let me. Is that a... Can you kill this guy? Yes. We want to get to both. The, I really want to get this chest because it has the Axe of Ukin Vasara in it. It's like the best item on this map by far. Um, I could ignore this one though. Let me refresh my memory on what that one is. I think it's like the Armor Slayer is the one that's like pretty underwhelming, but it might just be like a bullion or something. Cursed Ashia Sword. Oh yeah, that's one of the ones that like does damage to you. 13 might, 70 hit, 40 crit. 40 crit is a lot. Yeah, I want that. All right. I mean, I, knowing myself, I'll probably never use it, but I, I do want it. <laughs> um, what we want to do here and I want my pulse charge available like to test but I think what we want what I want to do is so creator sword kills which means thunderbrand probably does too but at like a 50 to hit but it 25 Attack. Thunderbrand is 20, will be 23, which means it won't two shot. Okay, so that's bad. So let's, yeah, let's go with Raider Sword. No, I'm not the one you want. Okay, all good. Get strength. It isn't looking good for us. Should we retreat? He's going that way. He has some treasure from the monster. Yeah, yeah. Um. Like we could just finish. I mean, I positioned by a slightly differently. We could just finish the chapter now, but. this guy not get to here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, he can. Oh, interesting. You can't get to there. I just want to make sure I can get to Bilardo next turn. Um... I don't want my battalion to leave, but... If yeah, I think it's 
so I think going here. Play. Oh no, wait. I wanna I wanna support Seth. Okay, so we got a here, and then Seth. Is that? I guess we put Seth here. I mean, the other thing we could have done with Sadath is grab the chess key, have him go get the axe of Ukandasara. But... Which means... We can just get the, the axe next turn. Yeah, that's the play. So we... We trade for both the chess keys. Rally, why not? Okay. We go here. Actually, no. We want to go... One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to move Linhardt as far as possible. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. Actually, we should I just should have left the other key with Bernadetta in case that wasn't right. But whatever, it, it's fine. It's all fine. Um, and then we just have you three who aren't doing anything. Don't need to do anything. I am concerned that Linhardt is still going to be too far away regardless if we need to dance. Well, we're probably not going to need need to dance, but like we want to dance because we can get an extra kill in. I don't suppose you can, like, physic somebody. Oh, sure. I owe you. Uh, okay, so... What now? Yeah, the same problem here. Right. Um, I left... Linhart can get to here. Which unfortunately is a bad spot because there's a treasure chest in the way. I don't know why you can't fly on top of treasure chest, but you can't. Oh, well, Byleth can't get there anyway. So she can get to there. If she equips the. There's a dromi. She could. I kill something with the creator sword, like this guy. Or go for some kind of kill on this guy. Well, I'm having very nearly kills this guy. Meanwhile, Seth could actually fly around the back, so. But we might want to have Seth on call to help take out take out Pilardo. Tough to say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can't do that. I'm just gonna go for the kill on this guy, I guess. We've still got a pulse charge left. So if Violet fails to kill Gilardo. She can now do with the Silver Lance, so that's going to be a little bit more reliable. Which also means she could do it with the Thunderbrand. So right now, Silver Lance, 80 hit, Thunderbrand, 70 hit, but also doesn't have Lan or Sword Prowess, so it's like, instead of 82, it's like 60, but we get four shots at it. So, are you more likely to hit 2 out of 4 at 60, or 2 out of 2 at 82? Probably depends on whether it's 2RN or not. Probably the 82 thing. Um, Alright, let's, uh, let's try the greedy approach first, and then...
guess we could talk. So what have you been doing these last five years? Well done. Okay, and then set a th what do I want to do with you? Um, you're not going to be able to get a kill that doesn't involve a crit. So who do we want to try to crit? That is a high hit rate. Seems like a good choice. Nice. Hopefully this proves useful. It won't, except on the way to being able to get to A, where you can use the keyhole over in company, but you know. Eighty-seven, not bad. Anything else that we want to do? I don't think so. We are leaving a bunch of bullion on the table. This oh, that guy has a door key, but there's guys over here. Chest key, bullion, bullion. I guess not a bunch, just a couple. Just a couple. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. A speed ring, pretty nice to get another one of those. I thought it would be easy money. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. That man used to be a merchant here at the monastery. He must have fallen on hard times to take up with those thieves. Thirty-one turns. Nice, brisk morning exercise. I'm, I'm as badly as the beginning of that went. I am shocked that I managed to get through it. <laughs> like it, it went so badly at the beginning. I've had, I've had it like go much, much cleaner. Where Violet just takes no damage, and then what happens is like w that one brawler like runs towards Petra and it's like well too bad <laughs> you lose <laughs> like okay but somehow that didn't happen this time so that I, I honestly that's probably more important than like how well the other stuff goes well I don't know if Byleth had gotten hit like at all by those snipers though on the you know in the in the middle of the map once when I was trying to like approach Pilardo then um then she would have lost her Wyvern company. I mean, I guess it wouldn't have, like... It's not necessarily, like, the end of the world, but it significantly cuts her damage output um, and would possibly mean I couldn't one-round Pilardo without using Thunderbrand and just bad stuff. So, anyway, it worked out. Sedith was the MVP. What? Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> That's crazy. Did you really get that many kills? Dang. All right. I think we will go ahead and see if there's like story stuff specific to this route here. Probably not. But... It seems we were able to expel the bandits who were hiding in Garrick Mach. How fortuitous that you students should gather at the monastery like this. We made a promise with the professor. That was five years ago to the very day. We all gave our promise to be meeting here when the Millennium Festival arrived. Why are you blushing? <laughs> Though the one who came up with that plan is not here. Edelgard. Well, actually. Still, how incredible that those present gather despite the terrible state of things. <laughs> The most incredible part of it is that you didn't oversleep and miss the reunion. So, that is the reason. Professor, the monastery is safe because of Yeah, I don't know about students. that. <laughs> I'm now fully convinced that you are the only one who can save Fodlin. Well, now see, that... That is a more understandable reaction to that battle. <laughs> because Violet's the only one who can do any fighting. You can depend on me. Ah, so you have finally accepted your destiny. Yes. The very day I return to Garrett Mock, you awaken and return as well. This is no mere coincidence, but rather the work of the goddess. Yeah, if you say so. 
Actually, well, it will be easier to just show you. Come with me to the Holy Mausoleum. I realize that since you've been slumbering for so long, you have no idea what has transpired in the various territories. Okay, this is Allow me to explain. at least a little bit different. After the Battle of Garrig Monk, there was a change of regime in the kingdom. House Blathid suffered a series of brutal massacres, which claimed the lives of Dimitri and Regent Rufus. Regent Rufus? The kingdom capital fell and was absorbed into the Empire as the Fargus Dukedom, which is now under Cornelia's control. Some still resist the Empire. As of now, Rodrigue of House Fraldarius is at the center of such efforts. In the Alliance, Claude leads the faction that opposes the Empire, and Lawrence leads those who have sided with them. The front lines are ever in motion, but the war effort has stagnated overall. In short, both the Kingdom and the Alliance have been swallowed up by the Empire and are on the verge of collapse. We must gather our generals and soldiers under your command and reverse this dire situation. I guess Dimitri could actually be dead on this route. Flane, look! The Professor has returned to us! Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, goodness! It really is you, Professor. Is this what we wanted to see in the mausoleum? <laughs> we were so worried we would never see you again. I forgot something important at the Holy Mausoleum. I told my brother that I had to go back for it no matter what, and so here I am. After we finished here, we were going to continue our search for Rhea. But now that you are here, things have changed. We must not waste this opportunity. We shall send word to the knights scattered all across the land. The time has come for the Knights of Saros to return to action. We are counting on you, Professor. Part 2. Silver Snow. Guardian Moon. A king without a kingdom. Well, that sounds like it's talking about Dimitri. Having parted ways with Edelgard, former students of the Black Eagle House now work alongside the Knights of Saros at Garrig Mach. They begin to create a resistance army strong enough to take on her Imperial forces. Yeah, I mean, I I know that this route is supposed to be similar to Verdant Wind, but in terms of the the chapters, but uh, I don't actually know exactly what to expect. Each unit has grown. Oh, thank the goddess. I couldn't bear the thought of letting Gerald down by not finding you. Guess he lucked out. We've been looking everywhere for you, but I see Lady Rhea isn't with you. Damn, everyone was real worried about you, Professor. Seta told us everything. From here on out, you will have our aid. I am so grateful that everyone is safe. I am sorry things are moving so rapidly, but there is something we must discuss. Come with me. The time has come to make our true stand against the Empire. Let's win no matter what. With the power of friendship, I don't feel confident, but we'll do our best. I don't know, power of friendship, that's 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 the most fire emblem thing you could say. Our base will be Garrick Mock Monastery. The interior is in less than prime condition, but we should be able to utilize it much the same as we had before. Surely those Imperial Jerks have this place staked out, right? It's a highly strategic location. It may be an area of importance, but it is far removed from the front lines. Considering the burden of transport, it is possible they are not paying too much attention to it. Nothing escapes the Emperor. They must at least be a spy or two. Professor, what do you think? 
I mean, I, like, <laughs> why are you even pretending like this is a decision that I get to make? <laughs> I'm worried about supplies? That's a con reasonable concern. Your concern is valid. However, you're not actually in charge, so we're going to do present. what I say. And though far from abundant, the church still has funds at its disposal. That's true. Professor, I think we can leave expanding our army to my brother. He was always good at negotiating, and I believe he is best suited to the task. In that case, I have a request. Please allow my soldiers to join your ranks as well. How Sire already tried taking on the Emperor. As a result, our territory was stolen from us. As a consequence, I do not have many soldiers left to speak of. But those I have are yours to command. I feel like I should tell you that I've been protecting some kids who lost their parents in the war. They're in the town right now, but maybe we can move them to the monastery? I'm sure they'd be happy to chip in however they can. Hmm. Yes, I understand. I will make the necessary arrangements. I nabbed some valuables from my house. Father is with the Emperor now, so... It's not much, but it's yours. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> uh, this is different in, like, a way that I wasn't expecting. I'm still in my same old clothes. I've been wandering on my own for five years. I won't go back to that house or my father, that's for sure. I understand. Leave it to me. No labor is too great if it means saving Fogel. Like, they didn't really have this kind of discussion in the other routes where they come back and say, like, here's some specific things that we're going to do. They, there was... It was, um, it was just like, yeah, we're gonna work together and we're gonna go do the thing. But it wasn't like, oh, here's like, like, I did this, I'm gonna do that. Like, that's, that's different. I guess, you know, this is supposed to be like the, the most developed route. So I guess that's maybe a reflection of that fact. Anyway, at long last, it is time to end this episode. Thanks for watching and... I will see you next time for, it looks like, um, the, yeah, defensive Garrig Mach from Edelgard once again. I doubt that we're going to get any paralogs before then. Maybe. Um, we are probably going to have some supports. Seems pretty clear that we want to do that uh, next episode because this one's already been two hours and 40 minutes. So... Thanks for watching, and until next time.